Hello and welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming, bringing you Super Play Action Football on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, 1992 Nintendo. Um, if you're not familiar with this game, there is a version on the NES just called Regular Old Play Action Football. Um, pretty darn similar um, in their play style. Uh, this one, however, is on Super Nintendo, so you're almost expecting uh, a little bit more from it. Um, you do get these different options here. Um, we already went over those. Uh, you can pick NFL, college, high school, whatever. I don't think it matters. Um, so you can do a season. Um, that's a thing. I think it's a password game. I don't believe it saves, but it's, it's possible it does. Um, I, I forgot to take a look at that. Um, so here we are. You can do the different options here. I believe this is also a four-player game, so if I ha you can see that extra room down there. If I had the multi-tap plugged in, um, we could probably show you that it is a four-player game. Uh, however, I'm just going to do some quick gameplay footage for you. Pick the Dallas Cowboys versus the New York Football Giants. Don't matter here. So, like I said, it's very similar to the NES version as far as the controls go. Um, you just got some updated, better graphics, uh, more animation things. Uh, do dig the Mario coin um, there with the Mario and the Raccoon Del Mario thing on the back. Uh, from, say, Mario 3 or something like that. So, they won the coin toss. Hopefully they kick it to me. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just let them score real quick. Am I even playing? <laughs> so, anyway, it looks like uh, maybe I did that. I don't know. They might have just kicked it straight out of bounds. Uh, yeah. So, may oh, no, you know what? I think it was me. So, anyway... There's the kickoff for you. You can see the guys, they kind of operate like a, uh, what do you call that? Like a rugby kind of thing or a foosball. Um, I think you get like dive tackle. You should be able to switch through the guys um, on the, when you're on defense. So they make you select these audibles before you even start the game. So that's cool that you can have audibles, but it's slightly annoying. Oh, look at that, I went offsides. So, was, so the, immediately there's a difference already. I don't think there are penalties in the first uh, play-action football game. Um, I don't believe they allow you to do that, or maybe we just got lucky and, and didn't experience that from the game. So, um, doesn't look like... Uh, maybe L and R switched the guys before the snap. Uh, you know, and the movement is not as stiff, so, uh, in the NES it's more, more like on an axis versus on like a, like a, a full directional type deal, so, um, I guess this is as good as to mine as to what you're picking there on those plays, if you, you probably have to kind of like really Ready, look and see what, um, you're picking, whether it's run or pass defense or what. I do like how you dogpile tackle on there. That's kind of cool. Um, when you're on offense, uh, the way you do... The fuck are they doing? They're already substituting. Okay, so yeah, like on the on the NES version, your guys had like energy and shit like that. So um, it's possible that their guy is tired already, so they're, they're substituting him. Um, that could get annoying if you had to keep doing that um, in the game. So that guy's wide open. I might just let these guys score so you can see the defense, or so I can show you the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, the game is not altogether terrible. Uh, I do like the NES version much better. Um, and if I was to play something like this on a newer system, like say the Super Nintendo, that kind of thing, I'd want to probably be playing like Tecmo Super Bowl 1, 2, or 3. Um, <laughs> You know, just a much better game all around, and, um... Ready, set. Yeah, like, like so this is, this is a little bit better in terms of graphics and that kind of thing than the NES version, but the NES version, I think, has a certain playability to it that makes it, 
different than like a because see this one's trying to be more like a Madden or like a Tecmo Bowl or something like that and so it's losing its originality in in the fact also that it is not anywhere near like those games so this one uh, in my opinion it, it's okay it's not bad it's not great um, again so um, first down I suppose if you if you were just dying to play something different that wasn't uh, that wasn't Tecmo Bowl or whatever you play Emmett Smith football any of those football games you like to play on the Super Nintendo you just really needed something else to do. Ready, set. This is your game. Oh shit! Well, I was trying to pass, so maybe I picked uh, something. Uh, you might have to push B or whatnot to bring up the pass uh, screen. Um, something that's different than the original too is that it. Uh, Ready, set. It does didn't show you exactly the play <laughs> through a pick. Awesome. So. Um, yeah, just just a much different game than the um, than the original version. Uh, this would probably be a lot more interesting if I were, say, doing it four players or something like that. But uh, I doubt we'll we'll get into that here at Brothers Forge. I uh, just wanted to get some quick footage for you, gameplay wise. I'm um, getting smothered by the oh geez, the, yeah, I'm just getting crushed by the computer here. Um, but yeah, that is uh, Super Play Action Football on the Super Nintendo. Um, grab it if, you, if it looks interesting to you. Go pick it up. Get three of your friends a multi-tap and some controllers. And uh, you know, go ahead and let me know if, uh, is, if it's worth picking up um, again to play with four people. Um, I'm, j I'm not getting that sense from this game. But a lot of games that are supposed to be played multiplayer, if you try to play them as a single player... Uh, you're like, what the hell is this game? Why am I playing it? Um, so yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching Brothers Large Gaming.